because you guys cut a piece of plywood, that piece of plywood is going to go over top and it should be flush on all four sides. So because I'm nailing into plywood, I'm going to change our nails out. I'm also going to get my practice in connecting and disconnecting my air hose. That's a really important thing for you guys to uh, learn as well. Clip in. So, in order to make this nice and square, I'm going to start in one corner where I like uh, how it sits. It's flush on both. And we're going to put one nail in. Now that one corner is locked in. Okay? Now I'm running flush along this side here, and I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and nail this one in as well. Great. All right, we're done with our framing nailing. Cool, so now I got my box made, everything's nailed together. I got zero nails sticking out at any side of this, so that's really good. Now we're gonna show you the next step. All right guys, here we have our box, and next up, we get to trim this out. We get to frame around it with some trim pieces. So these are very common uh, uh, trim for around our doors, for around our windows. Um, and you guys are going to show off your craftsmanship by framing out around the sky. So here's what you get to do is one is you're going to get to take these pieces. You are going to get to measure your length. You're going to put 45 degree angles on both ends and you're going to make sure that your corners are looking really, really good. Now, as you can see here, this piece is super long, not super long, but it's long, um, and it's going to need to be cut down. The goal is that when we go to fasten these, that they are going to be flush with the OSB or plywood that you guys put on. So we want them flush with the outside, and we want our joints to look really good. Now, this one might not look too good because the stain colors are just a hair off, so let me trade that out. But what I'm looking for, uh, that one gets you downgraded or anything, what I'm looking for is that we have a nice tight joint happening right here. I've seen them where they kind of have gaps here, or they have gaps here, or we're not even close to being right on the edge. And we'll show you some of those examples later. But for now, I just wanna make sure that you guys can accurately cut 45 degree miters, and we're gonna frame out this whole box. Which is important that this piece was square to begin with. If it isn't, you're kinda of in trouble. Now one other thing I wanna to bring to mind with these trim pieces, as you can see right here, so they got a thinner end, and they have a thicker end, and they have a decorative molding design here. So I've had students who've cut it the opposite direction, like this, where the thin part is in here and then the thick part is here. And as you can see, as I turn this up, uh, that's a big no-no. That would never, ever fly. So you want to make sure that all your cuts are going the correct way. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't cut them too short. If they're too long, you can always cut them down again. But uh, too short isn't, uh, isn't great. So here I got some pieces that I pre-cut. Uh, it took me about 15, 20 minutes to get them exactly how I wanted it. But, uh, and then as soon as I nail this in, um, I'm going to, I'm going to like it. Uh, now you're probably looking at it cause it's not perfect just yet. And going, what about this corner? Well, we'll get there. See that one's already a little better. All right, so that's what we need you to do is you're gonna grab some trim pieces and we're gonna have you guys start cutting them to go to size and then we're gonna nail it in with our brad nailer.
Here we have our Brad Nailer. So a Brad Nailer is another type of nail gun uh, that just shoots out these little wire nails, but uh, they're pretty neat and they're not made for anything structural, but for trim work, they are awesome. As you can see, this guy is quite a bit wider, so it could take uh, nails up to two inches. Uh, so you drop your nails in here, you make sure they're up close to the front, don't have them hanging back here because your driving pin then has a lot more work to do uh, and you're going to have a lot more airs. So we put them in here nice and flat. We're going to push this guy in, clicks, and then the same methods work. When this is pushed in, you're going to be able to pull the trigger one time. It's going to shoot. You're going to release, push this in, pull the trigger one time, and uh, that's what you got. All right, if you need an adjustment as far as driving the nails in deeper, as you can see at my thumb here, it shows one where the nail is way beneath the surface and one where it's up top here. That is just a matter of rolling this guy and it'll, it'll adjust how much uh, pressure your hammer will do. I like how this corner looks. I like that I'm flush here. I like that I'm flush here. So. I only need this piece now that I'm where I need to be. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna make sure my fingers are out of the way. And we're nailing it. We're going through this piece. We're going through the plywood. We're going into the stud. Now, we know we have an inch and a half of stud here. Uh, and then we got plywood here. And then uh, behind that plywood is really nothing. Now, plywood is a fine material to nail into, but if you were doing this in a house and you had to do something like drywall, drywall is not a material that is going to hold a brad nail very well, and so putting a nail through it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it's going to be any good. So right here, I'm flush here. I like that. My corner looks great, nice and tight, so we're going to nail this guy in. Same thing, flush down here, I like that. Gonna nail that one in. And, because I know I got plywood here, we'll put one there. So it doesn't take a whole lot of nails with trim to uh, get it to stay where you want it. And if you feel like it uh, isn't holding very well, you can always add another nail. For the sake of what we're doing, we don't need to go crazy with this. Okay, again, I like my corner. with the outside Great. all right and then your last piece is typically ah sorry guys then your last piece is typically the one where you see if you did things really well or not so we like our corner we like our corner we're flush with the edges and then oftentimes students will get things where it'll kind of be pretty off and that's why we do all of our testing before we actually nail stuff in so right about there is where this one's going to go. Uh, it's not bad. It's not as great as the other ones. I got a tiny little gap right here. But uh, other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay. And there we have a box. So the important parts is that this frame going around is completely even with the OSB that you had, okay? Everything is nice and square. As I turn this over, where I did pound, uh, nail in at the middle, I got a nail here and a nail here. I don't know if you guys can see those two. The other ones must have all hit the studs, all right? So uh, I'm gonna be all right with that because it's just these two, and that's kind of what I showed you. Now, up next, I'm going to show you some student examples of uh, some good and bad things uh, to help make your project go a little better. All right, class, here we have some uh, student projects on our nailing, and I just wanted to go over some of them to show you guys um, some of the goods and, and bads of it. So uh, we'll take this one here to start. This one, 
Uh, as far as the nailing goes, uh, with the framing nailer, it went really well. But uh, when it comes to the, the OSB, we're hanging over here and we're short here. So something was either miscut or just not aligned. So that'll be something we want to work with. Another thing is this guy used two different trims. So this one's a little thinner, this one's a little thicker, and he should have taken some time to uh, make sure they, what he had matched. Uh, the other thing is when we do trim nailing, we want to avoid this. So he went to put a nail in here. Uh, it either was at an angle or just too close to the edge. Uh, so we don't want this. So here's what you can do before you submit it in for a grade. We got two tools that could really help you out here. This is called a side cutter, and uh, this guy is called a channel lock. So the side cutter would essentially get right up to this, and you can snip it, and then that goes away. Uh, what we would try first is using this channel lock. I kind of stuck that nail up. Now I can grip without clamping too hard because it will snip through. And as I go to roll, although that's a little OSB, the front of this is good, and then we can pull the nail out. If these don't work, then a side cutter works pretty well. All right, so, and then uh, when it comes to the cornering, uh, this is you know it's it's not terrible but it's not as good as we we would want it to be. our corner here if you can kind of see that sticks out quite a bit further um, and this one especially we want these corners nice and even with each other so this one should have we should have taken a little bit more time to cut this down to size because this is sticking out on the back side here you can see that our trim overhangs, so that's something we don't want either. We're using two different kinds of trim. You can see this sticks out way farther. You can see our corner on this one. That's a huge gap, so that's a deduction. We're not going all the way to the edge. Um, so although this, you know, from far away looks all right, as you get up to it, um, just not, not too great. The other thing this student did is decided that just randomly putting a whole bunch of brad nails in uh, was a good idea. So now when I go to grab it, I'm gonna poke my fingers. Uh, so don't do that. Don't do that. I'm gonna mark you off a lot for it. The trim that we put on really depends on what we have at the time. Uh, so this is just some quarter round, but we still get to work on making nice mitered corners, uh, except for this one right here where we're just not very accurate. So this is the kind of stuff that we really want you to get good at, taking your time and making really nice cuts. All right, good luck on your project.